السلام عليكم اليوم ان شاء الله راح نبلش اول محاضره بالفيديو ريكوردينج عن البريودنتال ليجمنت تعريف بسيط عن البريودنتال ليجمنت هو that connective tissue or loose connective tissue that occupies the space between the cementum and alveolar bone شوف انه هو يغطي الروت هذا الروت و ال ما بين الروت وما بين الالفيولار بون فروم ذا الالفيولار بون كريست تو ذا روت ابيكس طبعا هو كونكتيف تيشو يحتوي على الكومبوننتس uh, موجوده باي كونكتيف تيشو اخر اللي هي السيلز والماتريكس الماتريكس متكونه من الفايبرز والجراوند Substance. Cells تتقسم إلى groups. Cells can be divided into uh, groups. As synthetic cells مسؤولة عن تصنيع fibroblasts, osteoblasts, cementoblasts. Uh, the osteoblasts on the surface of alveolar bone. و cementoblasts تكون على surface of the uh, cementum. و resorptive cells مسؤولة عن resorption, remodeling. وبروجينيتور سيلز اللي هي الاندفرنشيتد ايكتوميزين كايمال سيلز و عندنا الاندو ابثيال سيل ريست اوف ميليسيس هذه انر سيلز مسؤوله كانت مسؤوله عن الروت فورميشن السابق وايضا اكو عندنا ديفنس سيلز مثل الماس سيلز ماكروفيج واليوسينوفيلز فايبروبلاست سيلز هي برنسبل فايبرز اوف ذا any connective tissue like a periodontal ligament uh, these fibers the loose connective tissue is responsible for the formation of uh, ground substance and formation of the fibers and also it's uh, responsible of uh, remodeling resorption of fibers and formation of new fibers uh, it has a special characteristic in this tissue it's uh, um, the high rate of turnover, turnover of protein within the extracellular compartment in this uh, uh, tissue in particular the collagen fibers so it's have a high rate of formation uh, we can see these fibers this uh, fibroblast presented in this tissue it's uh, uh, too much <coughs> more abundant fibers in this tissue and have uh, cell to cell contact or gap junctional contact type. Localized changes in tensile compressive forces during growth and the mesial drift result from interproximal wear stimulate bone and cementum formation or resorption. In contrast, the absence of these forces, such as when tooth has no opponents, result in decreased matrix production, increased collagenase secretion, and thinning of the pitting ligament. Okay, and so the tooth is out of function. That will make out of function, like embedded, impacted, or out of occlusion, we have very thin uh, periodontal ligament. And if the tooth in contact and function will have a um, uh, medium or uh, say uh, normal width, <coughs> and if there is like, an excessive force on the tooth, but we have more wide or wider. Uh, now, uh, talking about the epithelial cells. Epithelial cells, it's uh, epithelial cell rest of malaises. It's a remnant of a special structure used for uh, uh, the formation of the, of the root. <coughs> it's called a um, Hertwig epithelial. Root sheath, H E R S, the Hertwig epithelial root sheath. Um, we we'll talk about it. Uh, we will talk about it uh, in uh, the uh, second uh, course.
uh, about the all root formation and crown formation. Formation of this will be in clusters, strands, different uh, shapes, multic, uh, different shapes like this, like rounds, strands, like make a mesh, clusters, many different shapes of these uh, uh, deeply stained uh, cells presented like epithelial cells and islands of epithelial cells inside the connective tissue. We have the progenitor cells or the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells. Cells undifferentiated have an uh, can be differenti differentiate into a special type of cells like fibroblasts, osteoblast, cementoblast cells when the tissue need these cells, these new cells. Um, it will be presented, I think, um, around the blood vessels and moved to the side of need um, by the uh, Chemotactic factors. <coughs> we have selective deletion of the ligament cells occur by apoptosis with the programmed cell death. And this process provides uh, cell turnover, which is in the uh, rate of uh, uh, the rat uh, PDL involved approximately 2% of the uh, population. Okay. Because the PD ligament occurs between two different tissues, uh, bone and cementum, we have bone cells, we have cementum cells on the periphery, on the boundaries of this PD ligament. We can see the uh, bone forming cells, the osteoblast cells, and the bone uh, resorption cells, like osteoclast cells, on the bone side. <coughs> and we have also, uh, the cells are responsible for the cementum formation, cementoblast, and the cells that are responsible for the cementum uh, resorption as um, certain circumstances as the cementoblast cells. Fast cells resemble osteoclast, cementoblast resemble osteoclast, occasionally found in normal. Uh, functioning periodontal ligament. Resorption of symptoms can occur under certain circumstances. Uh, in these uh, instances, mononuclear cementoclasts or multinucleated giant cells are often located in host lacuna, like or the same as the cement, uh, uh, osteoclast cells. From the surface on cement. The origin of cement class is unknown, but it's um, uh, conceivable that uh, they arise in the same manner of the osteoclasts. Now we have the fibers of the of the PD ligament. We have different types of these fibers of the PD ligament. I think uh, it's better to talk about it in the um, second uh, part of this lecture. Okay.